Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to take a look at the differences between generative AI and predictive AI. My name is Helena and if you haven't done so already, please like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. So the structure of today's video is we're going to talk about the definitions of these two terminologies, take a look at some use cases, and then we're going to take a look at some examples for each. Let's start off by taking a look Look at what generative AI is. So as its name suggests, generative AI is generating something new for you. And the thing is generating could be text, images, video, code, uh, or even audio. So essentially you feed this algorithm a lot of what you wanted to create, for example, text, and then it's able to generate new text for you. The most popular generative AI tool um, on the market today is ChatGPT. So ChatGPT has learned everything that's available on the web. So it's learned from all of the web pages and blog articles. And because it has learned this information, now it's actually able to generate new, unique content. So basically it can write anything that um, you want it to write. So let's take a look at a couple other use cases for generative AI as well. We have already just seen text, so ChatGPT. You can use this by just entering in a prompt and then it can create uh, any kind of text you want, whether it's business letters, emails, reports, etc. right? But generative AI doesn't just stop with ChatGPT. Um, you can also use generative AI to create images. The most popular image creation AI tool is Midjourney. So if you feed it enough images of a certain style, the AI will learn that that is that specific type of composition or style. And then you uh, entering in a prompt telling the AI to create this certain type of image, um, it can start doing and creating new images going forward in the future. Generative AI can also be used to create videos, music, product design, as well as personalization. So what I want to point out here is two things. One is that with generative AI, it's learned from the type of um, asset that you want to generate, like so whether it's text, images, video, etc. And then you entering in a prompt, so that that's the instruction that you give to AI, it's able to then create new and unique content based on what it's learned, okay? So it's not just a repetition of what it's learned in its database, it's actually creating new and unique content. And then also want to highlight a little bit about the last use case here, which is personalization. And this is a huge use case for um, pretty much all e-commerce stores. For example, if you log in right now into your Amazon store, you would see very, very different product recommendations than what I see when I log into my Amazon account. So Amazon has essentially learned buying behaviors of uh, all of its customers. So if someone bought item X, it knows how likely this uh, this particular person would be to buy item Y. And if there's high correlations between those two items, it will show um, those product recommendations in your feed. And they may not necessarily show those recommendations in my feed. So in this way, uh, by utilizing AI, um, every single shopper is able to have a very personalized experience. Now that you understand what generative AI is, let's take a look at what predictive AI is. So predictive AI, like its name suggests, is going to make a prediction about the future based on historical data. So for example, if you're a project manager, you can feed it all of the past performance data of your project, you know, when tasks started, when it finished, what those tasks are, and then the algorithm is going to make a prediction of how long certain tasks in the future will take. Predictive AI is also used a lot in the financial markets as well as trading. So you can feed uh, this AI algorithm all of the past data about a specific stock, and then it's going to predict the future price um, of, of the stock going into the future. So essentially it's using past data to predict the future. 
predictive AI uses large uh, data repositories to recognize patterns across time. And then it's going to draw those inferences and suggest what the outcome and trends may be in the future. Here's an example of a predictive AI dashboard that um, project managers may, may be able to see. It's going to give you different data um, graphs and as well as statistics for uh, your project. And it can also help you forecast the availability and productivity of your team members as well based on their past performance. Now let's take a look at some of the benefits of using um, predictive AI here. So predictive AI can help you predict future trends. Um, so it's able to help you recommend products that you can sell, as well as ways that you can improve customer service. It can also help you fine tune your inventory levels as well. So based on how much people purchased of certain items in the past, it can tell you how many new inventory and which items to order in the future. Also predictive AI can allow you to have a better accuracy. So this this AI adds a deeper dimension and greater accuracy to management processes without, you know, having all the human emotion um, going into that data because AI is predictive. It's just following this algorithm It's doing things over and over again. Uh, it can give you the most um, unbiased view for what decisions need to be taken to achieve the maximum level of success. And it also allows you to get more value out of this data, right? Some computations that would take a data analyst weeks, if not, um, you know, days and weeks to do, now AI can do it in a minute or two. So it's allowing you to make sense of this data much quicker and it's allowing you uh, with the right information, in the t having that information in a timely manner to improve your decision making across many, many different areas of the business. Now let's take a look at some use cases now for this technology. So as mentioned earlier, um, predictive AI is used in financial financial services. So by using predictive AI, you can enhance financial forecasting. You can pull all of the financial data related to different sectors of the business. And based on what the historical data is, you can then uh, predict what the future business data and forecast may be. Predictive AI is also used for fraud detection. So credit card companies use this all the time. Whenever they start to see fraudulent or uh, abnormal behavior in your spending pattern, it automatically um, sends you a text and notifies you of the suspicious activities so that you can detect whether or not someone has uh, misused your credit card, right? Um, predictive AI is also used in healthcare. So based on uh, the patterns of people developing certain diseases um, that doctors and healthcare professionals have observed in patients, um, the AI can predict how likely a specific uh, patient is at risk for developing these kind of diseases as well. So it can be used to prevent diseases as well as um, finding successful treatment. So if this specific treatment worked really well for, let's say, 70% of patients who developed this disease, disease, um, then based on the symptoms of the current patient, uh, then, you know, the AI can even help the de doctors decide, you know, whether a specific treatment plan would make sense or not. Predictive AI can also be used in marketing. So based on the success of past marketing campaigns um, that the AI has learned from, uh, the AI can recommend the most appropriate channels and messaging to help you optimize your marketing campaign. So as we have seen, both generative and predictive AI has its time and place. Both of this technology is super powerful. I just have this uh, table up here to compare and contrast the differences between generative AI and predictive AI. In a nutshell, generative AI is generating new ideas, content, 
as well as um, it's allowing you to be able to create those text images much quicker. The AI has been taught to learn from patterns and these relationship in data so that it can be, be creative and generate new content. On the other hand, predictive AI, it's predicting uh, something new. So it's fed a lot of information and based on all of these historical information, it's able to predict future outcomes, right? So predictive AI is used for forecasting, classification, regression as well. So it doesn't create new content, but it's allowing you uh, to make sense of of large data sets that you have available now. So thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Uh, I hope you now understand the differences between generative and predictive AI. Um, click the link in the description below to join my free course and learn more about AI and how it can help advance your career. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you soon.